Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create a creative text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro, like this. Ok, here we are in Premiere Pro. First, we need to create a background. Go to the new item, right click, and choose the color mat. Then this dialog box will appear here. Set the size width to 1920, height to 1080, and time base to 30 fps, and hit OK. Choose the color black and name it BG, and press OK. Drag the BG layer into the timeline. It will create the size of the animation. Now add some text to this. Go to the text tool and type here. I am typing here education, you can type whatever you want. Then go to the essential graphics tab. If this tab is not showing in your window, then just go to the window workspaces and choose the essentials. This will open the essential graphics tab in your window. Now change the font of the text. For that, go to the text and choose any font that you like. I chose this integral CF to me bold font like this. Now just scale the size of the education text. Select the anchor point of the text and move it into the center. Then go to the align and transform tab. Click these buttons, and it will align them into the center of the BG layer like this. Now go to the rectangle tool, create a rectangle like this and align it into the center like this. Go to the effect controls tab. Open the shape layer properties. Change the color of this gray to red and hit OK. Now go to the transform and check the scale properties and make sure the anchor point of this rectangle is in the center. Now set the horizontal scale size to O and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the 15 frames forward and set the horizontal scale size to 100. Select the first keyframe. Right click on it and ease into it. Then select the second keyframe. Right click on it and ease out it. Now click on this vertical scale stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go to the 15 frames forward and set the vertical scale size to 700. Select the second keyframe. Right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Check the animation. Cool. Now select the education text layer, put it on top of the rectangle layer, and set it like this. Select the education text layer, then go to the scale properties. Now set the time indicator to this rectangle horizontal scale size of 100. Go to the education text layer and cut it like this. Now go to the opacity and click on this 4 point polygon mask. This will create a mask for the education text layer. Now adjust the mask like this. Go to the rectangle layer, then go to the vertical scale. Properties now set the time indicator where the rectangle vertical scale to 700. So select the education text layer, then go to the mask path and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now come to the beginning of the education text layer. Select the mask and make a mask like this. It will automatically create a keyframe like this. Now adjust the keyframe according to the animation. Cool. Now go to the 1 second and 15 frame forward and trim both layers like this. Select the education text layer and make a copy of that. Go to the effect controls tab, select the mask, and delete it. Then go to the text tool and edit the text I am typing here. Technology, you can type here whatever you want. Select the anchor point of the technology text and move it into the center. Then go to the align and transform tab. Click these buttons, and it will align them into the center of the BG layer like this. Go to the effect controls tab and change the color of the text, like this, yellow. Select the technology text layer, adjust it, and increase the duration of this. Now select the education text layer and rectangle layer, put them on top of the technology text layer, and increase the duration of these. Select the rectangle layer and move the timeline bar where the education text appears. Click on the appearance stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go to the few frames forward and change the color of this. First, take the color code from the technology text layer. 
Then click on the fill color and paste the color code. It will automatically change the color, like this. Now adjust the keyframe according to the animation. Cool. Select the rectangle layer. Go to the razor tool and cut the rectangle layer, and increase the duration of this. Then go to the effect controls tab and remove the keyframe from scale properties. After that, select the anchor point of the rectangle and move it to the right side like this. Go to the horizontal scale. Click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the 15 frames forward and set the horizontal scale size 5. Select the second keyframe, right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Cool. So select the education text layer, go to the mask properties. Now move the timeline bar to where the rectangle is behind the education text layer. Now add a keyframe, then move the timeline bar where the rectangle crosses the education text layer, then select the mask and move it like this. Now check the animation and adjust the keyframe according to the animation. Cool. So select the rectangle layer, then go to the effect controls. First, set the timeline bar where the horizontal scale keyframe ends. Then go to the position properties and click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go to the few frames forward and move the position like this. Select the second keyframe, right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Now check the animation. Cool. Select the rectangle and increase the duration of this. Go, go to the razor tool and cut the rectangle layer. I increase the duration of this. Go to the appearance create a keyframe, then go to the few frames forward and change the color of this. First, take the color code from the education text layer. Dot and click on the fill color and paste the color code, it will automatically change the color, like this. Go to the effect controls tab and remove the keyframe from scale and position properties. After that, select the anchor point of the rectangle and move it into the lift side like this. Go to the vertical scale. Click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the 6 frames forward and set the vertical scale size to 200. Select the second keyframe. Right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Cool. Select the technology text layer and increase the duration of this. Select the rectangle layer, go to the razor tool, and cut the rectangle layer. Select the rectangle layer and remove the keyframe for the vertical scale. After that, select the anchor point of the rectangle and move it into the lift side like this. Go to the horizontal scale. Click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the 10 frames forward and set the horizontal scale size to 115. Go to the razor tool and cut the technology text layer. Then select both rectangles and move them up. Then select the technology layer and make a copy of it. Now hide this bottom technology text layer and select the second technology text layer. Then go to the opacity and click on this 4 point polygon mask. This will create a mask for the technology text layer. Now adjust the mask like this. Then go to the mask path and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now come to the beginning of the technology text layer. Select the mask and make a mask like this. It will automatically create a keyframe. Now hide the second technology text layer and show the first technology text layer. Just the mask like this. Select the rectangle and adjust the keyframe, according to the animation. Now go to the vertical scale properties and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go to the few frames forward and vertical scale size to 700. Select the second keyframe. Right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Select the rectangle. Make a copy of it and cut the layer like this. 
Click on the appearance stopwatch icon to remove the keyframe and change the color of this rectangle to white. Now you will get this animation. Select both rectangle layers and increase the duration of these. Select the white rectangle and adjust the keyframe. Select the both technology text layers and cut them. After that, make a copy of the technology text layer. Now select the technology text layer and put it on top of the rectangle layer. Then go to the mask properties and delete the mask. Go to the text tool and edit the text I am typing here. Innovation, you can type anything you want. Select the anchor point of the text and move it into the center. Then go to the align and transform tab. Click these buttons, and it will align them into the center. Select the innovation text layer and change the color of it to green. Now go to the beginning of the innovation text layer, then go to the opacity and click on this four point polygon mask. This will create a mask for the technology text layer. Now adjust the mask like this, then go to the mask path and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go to the few frames forward and move the keyframe there. Then go to the beginning of the innovation text layer, select the mask, and make a mask like this. It will automatically create a keyframe like this. Adjust the keyframe according to the animation. Now check the animation. Cool. Now select the red rectangle and cut it like this, then select the white rectangle, then go to the opacity and click on this 4 point polygon mask. This will create a mask for the technology text layer. Now, now adjust the mask like this. Then go to the mask path and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Go to the few frames forward and adjust the mask like this. It will automatically create a keyframe like this. Then select both the innovation text and rectangle layer to increase the duration of these. Select the rectangle layer, go to the mask keyframe, and adjust it. Select the innovation layer and adjust the mask keyframe according to the animation. Now check the animation. Cool. Agani selects both the innovation text and rectangle layer, increase the duration of these. Select the rectangle layer, go to the opacity, and click on this stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then move a few frames forward and set the opacity value like this. Select the second keyframe. Right click on it and ease out it. Then select the first keyframe, right click on it, and ease in it. Now hit enter to render this. Now check the animation. Here we done. Creative text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro.